folks, uh, good morning everybody um, from Horse Cards. Uh, today, kind of a special event, I guess. A uh, lot of recruits, yeah, household division recruits. Um, why am I standing here pointing the camera right in their faces? Well, everybody, uh, because I did go forward uh, and speak to the two officers who are, as you can see, talking to the new recruits right in front of me uh, to ask if it was okay not only to film them, but show them the channel, etc., so they know where the content will be. Um, it's interesting, somebody came along and said to me before I started, um, it's great that you film a lot of what happens here because the majority of people that see your content will never actually get to stand here in person. Funnily, actually, I never really thought about it like that. It's a very, very, very good point. Very good point. And there they are, looking absolutely magnificent. You can always spot the officer, folks. Uh, why? The umbrella. That's why. Yep, that is a very well turned out bunch, isn't it? Oh, hold on a second. Right on time. What have we got here? Corporate force? Actually, wait, I'm not sure who this is. I actually have no idea. RSM, I guess. Fantastic stuff. Uh, if anyone isn't too close, folks, I am way back, I promise. Uh, we've got roughly two, three, four minutes until the horses come charging out, so we uh, we don't have much time to <laughs> to spare before I need to run to the other side. That was really lovely, actually. We were very, very fortunate to catch that. Uh, one of the benefits, I guess, of being here early... Oh, there's the bell, everybody. I will leave them to it. Let me get myself very quickly... Ah! Onto the corner. Just in time for the first two horses of the day. Actually, the camera's a teeny... Whoops, the camera's a teeny bit off. There we are, there we are. Bong! Oh, which giant fluffy monster have they bought here? Remember that? Oh, he's looking at me. Oh, remember that's Kensington, or which horse it is. We'll figure that in a minute, everybody. Don't worry. First two horses of the day, people. To your box, people. That slight beeping noise behind me. I'm not sure if it's the. Uh... We've got one small problem there, everybody. Uh, and I'm genuinely surprised that uh, no one's noticed it yet or told them. How on earth do these people not understand that they're in the wrong spot? How do they not understand? I don't get it. Here we go. <laughs> it's bro in front of me. It's like, what just happened? <laughs> i tell you something, good guys. I'm not going to point the camera on them, but the place knew that was going to happen. And you know what? Um, I said, you just told me, I said to the police, how do they not realise? I thought, you know what, let's let the tourists get scored. <laughs> uh, that was absolutely superb. What a brilliant start to the morning, eh? Love it. That's the first time we've ever seen <laughs> people laughing, look. <laughs> uh, honestly, people can't believe what just happened. That is extraordinary, really extraordinary. Okay, first cars are coming out, second. Oh, good lord. Funny. Really funny. <laughs> they thought, as I thought, you know what? If they're too stupid to not realise that horse is going to that box, let the horse deal with the problem. And I personally think that was the absolute perfect solution, folks. I really do. Spot on. Super colours this morning because the light is absolutely spot on. It really is perfect. Oh, 
Hold on a second, he's dressing in the Lady Trooper's helmet. Now, supposedly, the next hour to two is going to be like this. Very bright, and very light cloud, and bursts of real sunshine. Let's hope so, because tomorrow, of course, folks, is St. Patrick's Day. Uh, I did wonder why Trafalgar Square was closed when I came in. I had a quick chat with the person on the gate, and they said, Oh, uh, we're preparing for tomorrow, St. Patrick's Day. I'd actually forgotten all about that, folks. Okay, so here is the first guard of the morning. Chitsman, Gatesman. That was brilliant. <clears throat> it, the look on their faces, I knew that they weren't going to say anything. That was a classic. Brilliant. I mean, how could they not realise that the... Yeah, that was brilliant. I, I mean, there's a horse standing right there. There's a horse box. How complicated is it to figure out that the horse wants to go to the box? Yeah, distance. that is exactly it. I'll pop in when I finish today's video. Make a, a main entrance at the back. Yeah? Thank you. Okay, folks. Um, everyone is at the gate, so the horse is in the box, you can see. Lots of happy tourists. Look. Okay. Fascinated by what's happening here. And you know what? I can't say that I blame them, to be fair. Uh, I've never seen so many people sniggering um, and thinking, like, how is that even possible, what just happened? But hey, when you think you've seen it all, something else happens. It's a real shame. I don't think anybody was on this, the roadside, on the public highway, to see that. Oh, look. <laughs> That's all I'm sure. <laughs> oh, magnificent. Guys, I'm getting massive tourist season vibes already. Even though the tourist season hasn't started, the stupidity that we've seen here in the last five minutes is probably as good as even peak season of uh, those tourist months yeah getting little tiny June July vibes uh, even though we're still in March okay Trooper's got the chain up he's locked his colleague in in fact that Trooper could well have been a, a former navy, naval man he's uh, he's very good with the chains Al Pacino Jr. here But, um, perfect. Boxes get closed, horses are on duty, and several tourists have gone to the hospital in shock after just getting uh, <laughs> the surprise of their lives. Let's see who's at the front. I'm hoping somebody else is filming here. Ah, nope, it's just me, I think, people. Which is a little bit unfortunate, but there we are. Yep. And it'll be busy this morning because the, uh, the sun's out, but wow, this is different. Well, busy for this early. I can see the hoof number super clearly. See if I can figure out which horse it is. Troop saying his colleague, get ready, it's going to be mad today. And you know what? He's right. It will be. Just looking people down the list. Oh. It's Shearer. Now, we did see this horse. Let me think. I can't remember if it was middle of January or in February. I can't decide whether he wants to grab the reins, this guy. Look. Shearer. I remember making jokes about uh, Shearer's in the uh, former Newcastle United. Football player. Oh, he's having a good old nibble. But he's got very, 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 very shiny hooves, everyone. It would not surprise me at all if the troopers spit and polish his hooves. I'm not going to film them because uh, the number is super visible, but wow, he is crystal clear. <laughs> and what an absolutely magnificent horse. Look at this, guys, look. Even at the back, he's got like an S number on the back hoof. What a beautifully presented animal that is, eh? Majestic, really majestic, and huge. Yes, you are. What a big boy. Okay, so Shearer at this end. Let's grab the other one quick before it gets completely shocker here. Bearing in mind, guys, we've got the uh, seven minutes, yeah, 11 a.m. inspection coming up as well. Okay, this one's a little bit smaller, but it's got a super beautiful face. Hmm. Yeah, I think we saw this one yesterday. Hold on. Let me see. 
getting close enough to actually be able to see and take a picture of the hoof. Hey, morning. All right. Let's see. All right, I need to move around a tiny bit, guys. One minute. Too many heads in the picture today. Okay, there we are, in front. Let's see. I can't remember actually if. Uh... Aha, no, I don't think this horse was on yesterday. One moment. Okay, they're not from the same troop, I can tell you that. This is a mare, everybody. Uh, and the mare. Uh, <laughs> her name is Yvonne. And that's interesting because we've got uh, a lady guard on a lady horse. Uh, and bear in mind, everybody, remember what we were told at the stables when we went to the Elizabeth Cup Day prep? We were told that the horses hold the rank of trooper. Okay? So we've got a female trooper on a female trooper. Strictly speaking, yeah, horses have a rank as well. They're troopers. Now, weird as it might sound, I didn't know that either. Um, and you can hear the captain telling it to us in his uh, in his guidance. Oh, I think a Chinese student just graduated. Actually, wait, maybe it's me doing it again. They're from the US. I think. Either that or international school. US accent. <laughs> They're all going to go up. I think I'll show them the channel afterwards. It's only fair that they're uh, a special moment. Graduation day on my channel is shared. Guys, you'll be on this channel later. Okay. I got all of it. Okay. You, you just graduated. Uh, we're about to. This about to. Oh, wow, yeah. wow. Yeah, it's all there, all of you. <laughs> no, it's okay. I, I filmed her a lot. Um, but just if you want to see yourselves, it'll be on there later on YouTube. Okay, well, get up. Yeah. Have a good day, guys. Okay, yeah, you, they're from the US. Okay, chap, don't spoil it by touching the blanket. It's funny, a lot of people think that I'm trying to sell them something uh, when I go up and I say, this is a channel. I think it's because in some countries, when, um, when you get approached, uh, by people with cameras or video equipment, uh, people automatically assume that you've taken a picture or a video and you want to sell them a copy of the footage. Obviously I don't, and I'm not here for that. Uh, but I can understand that some people occasionally a little bit like, what are you going to sell me? Look, look, on, look of surprise and shock on their face. The girl and the guy over there, they're like, whoa, look, it's a horse. I told you, this is what it's like sometimes. People are absolutely flabbergasted. <clears throat> Trying not to lose my voice by talking too much. Moi, talk too much? Impossible. Ce n'est pas possible. Okay, bro, don't touch. She's a really beautiful horse, actually, this one. Really, really, really sweet-faced horse. <laughs> Super temperament. Uh, I did ask somebody, uh, not in HCAV, but somebody that, should we say, knows uh, a lot of the things that happened here earlier this morning when I got here. What uh, is the situation with Ormond people? Uh, and the situation with Ormond is they're still deciding whether or not he should be out again uh, in the box. So Ormond is here. But, yeah, that's still... I mean, to be honest, it depends. You know, that we've very rarely seen Titan here, that massive Blues and Royals horse. We've seen Overlord maybe three times because some of the horses, once they get a, a bit of a reputation, there is an argument that if the footage has been all over social media uh, and a horse is well known to be particularly... What's the word? I was going to say aggressive, but that's not the right word. Particularly overly playful with tourists. Let's put it that way, OK? Shearer's like, not me then uh, there could be a problem. If a horse is well known to be problematic and that horse is on duty and something bad happens, yes, I know there are signs, folks. I know there are disclaimers, but you know, a good lawyer would always make an argument of something or other. So that would be my interpretation. I mean, not what I've been told, but let's just say what I've unofficially been told. 
Also, folks, update signs. They're back. They haven't been repainted. What happened is, busy week, long guard on Wednesday. Then, of course, we had the uh, lots of other goings and comings and goings here with military folk ready for military season. But as you can see, oh, she's looking over. The one that is the mayor. The signs are back. Both of the signs are back in their rightful positions, which is super, isn't it? Really. I know a lot of you are worried that hey. Did a naughty tourist steal one of the signs? They did not. No, they didn't. Now, before it gets busy, folks, uh, let me head in uh, and go through the notes. I put a couple of notes down yesterday because uh, there were a couple of important points I wanted to address for all of you, mainly because of the questions that you'd asked yesterday. So I'll do that quickly now uh, before I concentrate and what happens at the front. Uh, so point one, one of you had asked me in the comments, why do you not get the channel verified by YouTube? And like some channels have a white tick. If you get it verified, etc., it looks this and that. Let me tell you why, folks. Uh, you can only apply for verification of a YouTube channel when you hit 100,000 subscribers. You will not see a YouTube channel with under 100,000 subscribers that has a white tick, doesn't exist. That option only appears in YouTube studio after you hit 100K. So when I get there, next year probably, maybe this year if we're lucky, uh, I will of course verify the channel. YouTube, I have all of my info already. It's just a matter of that button being enabled so I can select the verify channel. That's point number one. Uh, the second important point, a lot of you are worried about what I said yesterday about Facebook and about sharing content. Uh, let me confirm folks, what I mean is there were a few pages that were set up on Facebook uh, precisely to post my content as if the person owning the page was the original creator. In other words, they were passing off okay, pa pa passing off my content as their own, which of course it isn't. We know that. Why? Because the narration, the style, many different factors. Um, but in terms of sharing the content, guys, any of you are welcome to share it anywhere, like links, you know, send it to your friends, whatever. There's no problem at all. Uh, I know a lot of you are not and this is only from reading the comics yesterday, a lot of you are not um, familiar with the difference between reposting content and sharing content. Uh, let me clarify, to share a link to the content or you know, to send a, a family member or a friend uh, a link, hey, watch this, that is completely different to actually downloading the content yourself and then posting it on your own page saying, this is mine, if you see what I mean. Okay, so that clears that up. Uh, yeah, there's, there's absolutely no issue, guys. Share away, honestly. The more that you share, the better for the channel, the better for the content, the better for the community, better for us all. And this actually, I've just remember, we've got a, a Lady Gatesman today, this morning. So Lady Gatesman and Lady Guard. It's interesting because these two troopers, the Lady Guard in the box in front of me, and uh, the Gatesman, Gateswoman, um, look very, very, very similar, actually. Very similar. Uh, even without the uniform, they are incredibly similar. They're not related, they're not twins, they're not etc. etc. They just look very, very, very similar. Uh, kind of freaky, but hey, in a good way. And the last important point, guys, as the sun has come out and hit the yard, look at this, it's got beautiful sunshine in the yard. 50,000, guys. Uh, by the time you watch this, or at the latest by tomorrow, uh, the channel will hit a milestone. We will be halfway toward 100,000. Now that's important, not because I care less about the total number, it doesn't make any difference to me. Um, it's important because of what I mentioned at the beginning, that verification question. If we're halfway, it means we've really got another halfway, and then we are at that magic 100k, and we will get the white tick on the channel. It doesn't really matter when it happens, it might happen this year if something goes super viral or national newspaper shares it. Uh, it might not, I don't really care, it doesn't make any difference. What does matter, guys, is that the community is a strong one, okay? Uh, any of you that have questions, they're answered by fellow community members, a lot of whom are experts or indeed have family or friends that are serving here in HCAV. That's a rare privilege to have so many of you that are so knowledgeable sharing that in the comments under my videos, okay? That's what sets the channel apart. So yes, in part, the channel grew fast. We have a lot of upticks. If you compare, for example, even the largest YouTube accounts, the percentage of upticks they get per subscribers we're way out there folks, we are way out there, heading anywhere between 3 and 
some of the big creators get less than 0.5 percent okay so a lot of you are being uh, kind of thoughtful clicking that like button and that helps to push the video in the algorithm so thank you guys it's uh it's extraordinary to think about it you know we're uh, we're still less than 18 months old a lot less than 18 months old uh, so to hit 50k big deal got a little barking doggy behind me who's not in a good mood at all like really not in a good mood this is definitely good it's going to be a beautiful morning something amazing happened earlier on on the on the inside mm -hmm. when the horses came out all the tourists were in the box filming in the yard when the first horses came out and even when the horse came out they still didn't move and then when he started pushing the horse forward then they suddenly realized and they ran out back onto the street <laughs> That's good one. The police were watching them. They, they, they knew it was going to happen, but they didn't move. They, they're like, if they're that stupid, let the horse deal with it. That's good. <laughs> Serves them right. But it was annoying. I was really hoping somebody was at the front here to film them running out onto the street, but no one was here. I was inside. Never mind. We have guy yesterday arrested in the in front. I don't know what happened. He was actually arrested, like. Yeah. But did you see him put in handcuffs or? Yeah. Oh wow. Unknown. Unknown oh. Guy. So this is maybe they get this part or something like that and then they just uh, trap it again. I thought it wouldn't surprise me if some of the cameras are along here yeah. have uh, AI, facial yeah. recognition technology, people that have got warrants get uh, so get flagged. They just grab it, handcuff. Because Good. Uh, because of the, this one, the attack again. Serves them right, in fact. Yeah. Have you, is it up yet? Did you post it? No, not yet. That, in fact, that'll be a good video. You should post it. Unless the officer said don't post it, I would post it. No, because basically we're just standing here and we're not going there because, you know, they cannot, you know. Yeah, some, some of them don't like it, obviously, if we're too close up, especially as that, for example, like could, could be a problem. The person could say, oh, I'm being filmed. Whilst I'm being arrested, that might prejudice any future yeah. trial, especially if the commentator you or I is saying bad things about the person I got arrested. But... It's hot, man. I mean, it's actually yeah. really hot this morning. I didn't, I didn't speak like this. It no, neither did I. <laughs> Tomorrow, though, it's going to be crazy. Tomorrow, St. Patrick's Day. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, Trafalgar Square will be closed, and a lot of this uh, central area will be closed. Yeah, I don't know about the horses tomorrow. I don't know if they're going to be on. We need to take some more. Maybe we don't take them. Yeah. All Mons here as well, by the way. But still didn't know if, they, if he's coming out. That's what everyone's waiting for. It's fingers crossed there. Yeah, a lot of people have been caught out by this, guys, myself included. I've got a fleece on and two layers underneath. At the moment, it's got to be in the sunshine at least 15 degrees, but bearing in mind that we've had so much cold weather recently, this 15, modest though it might sound, uh, in the sunshine feels more like 20. It really is very warm. Look how happy the horse is. Look, Shearer is delighted. God is having to squint because it's so bright. It really is magnificent weather. Look, absolutely lovely here in the centre. Let's hope it stays like this, eh? Horses make kick or bite. Early summer vibes. I was like, why is the horse not looking at me for my picture? He's not looking at you because he's not a prop. Oh. Folks, it's been a very long time since we've seen this corporal of horse here at Horse Gods. Apparently he's been uh, informed that one of the horses ran up to Trafalgar Square. Uh, one of the horses, don't forget that, horses are Irish draft horses. So when uh, word spread through the stables that it's St. Patrick's Day, yep. one of the horses is like, whoa. He was off, straight up to see what's happening. Giving away Guinness and stuff, can't blame him. So the corporal forces walked up to Trafalgar Square to get the horse back. In fact, it's the first time I've seen <laughs> I haven't seen him for ages. I think he's gone for breakfast. Yeah. I thought he was going to the back gate, but he's gone all the way up to the top. I'm thinking maybe by some snow or something. I think what happened, I just mentioned on the video, I think one of the horses heard in the stables that it's St. Patrick's Day tomorrow. These are Irish draft horses. So I think one of the horses escaped around to Trafalgar Square. 
and a couple of us going to go to get it. Tomorrow is a big day. It is a big day for these guys tomorrow, yeah. I have a lot of happy horses tomorrow. Okay, folks, let's have a quick look out the back. It's going to get busy, busy, busy here as, as the morning goes on. Oh, <laughs> somebody's, put, somebody's put his kid right in the trooper's face to wave. Did you see that? <laughs> it's like a funny trooper. Brilliant. I feel sorry for the trooper on the other side, the lady guard, because she's in the uh, in the shade. And on a morning like this, uh, it actually feels blissfully cool in the tunnel. On a morning like this, you really don't want to be in the shade, uh, do you? Oh, golly. Golly, golly, golly. Look at this, folks. Yeah. Remember I said the other day they're going to start soon. It's happened. This wasn't even here to this extent yesterday. Wow, that was quick. They're preparing the ground ready to build or to start the construction of all of the stands for military season. And on the other side as well. In fact, well, they've actually already started on this side. That was quick. I swear it was not this early last year. Last year they started, I think, in the middle of April. I mean, military season isn't for another two months yet. And they've already started the major construction of the stands. Look at this. That's extraordinary, isn't it? General Roberts, by the way, the, uh, the statue there. Golly. I remember last year, was, in fact, I was sitting over there because that tree in the middle, uh, Blossom, that's in the Downey, that's the Downey Street Garden, just beyond those walls. It's annoying I haven't still got that TikTok live because I filmed in the Downey Street Garden, folks. A lot of you might remember that live. I stuck the camera over the wall uh, and filmed the gardens. They're rather nice, actually. But wow, that is very, very, very early. Great for us, I must say. Really good for us. And I can tell you that I've got a great spot, guys, for all of the, the various special events happening in military season. So we will be filming, looking toward Horse Guards Parade. Uh, in other words, brilliant, brilliant spot, promise. I learnt my lesson from last year in terms of where it's good to sit to be able to share the best perspective for all of you. Gosh, it's really lovely this morning. Surprise me at all if uh, the troopers, once they finish dealing with the horses, uh, are at the back getting uh, getting some vitamin D. It really is warm enough, guys, to be doing that. I'm not joking. Could easily walk around in the centre here just a t-shirt this morning. Blissfully warm. Trooper's looking super happy. That said, he's got one of the best looking horses, so it's not surprises us. Yeah. I think you're just loving the fact that it's, uh, it's so nice and warm. Can't blame him, really. He's, uh, he's had enough of the tourists already, folks. He's gone to sleep. They won't, they won't stop touching, though, which means uh, he'll get woken up constantly. Not only so snoozy. Still not as snoozy as the tourists that were standing in the box, though, when we got here this morning. Unbelievable. <laughs> Question uh, for lady, uh, question by police yesterday as well. This is a big bucket and we got to sit in the group. Oh, wait, are, are there pictures of her? Do you get pictures? Yeah, no, from, uh, from the so, th so they found out, they knew 100% she was a pickpocket. Basically, uh, the question is they get all the details on this group as well. So basically, they get all the details from the group, four of them. 
I took the pigs from the domain. I'm always still here. So we've seen that face a lot of times. Yes. Yeah. I always see the face. If she comes today, it'd be great to see her. I'm not ready to face. If you see her, tell me and I'll go and film her and say, like, uh, why do you think you'd be still here at Horse Guards? Very, very cheeky, that, in fact. It's good to see the police are actually stopping people and questioning them and taking details. It's brilliant news. Me, Jake, and Mike. I mean, to be honest, since it reopened, the police have been much more firm with everyone, haven't they? Really. It's a good thing to see, a really good thing to see. Look at our happy groups of tourists, everybody. Yeah, if this place gets a reputation for that, it's going to be a problem. Oh, the boss is back, guys. He's got his breakfast. Yep, a hearty breakfast. We're going to be seeing actually on our various uh, travels, trips and journeys guys, lots of people uh, from all three branches of uh, the armed forces between now and, uh, it's okay, between now and the autumn, there's so much going on folks. Uh, I started to build a cattle build, to write, a ca write up a calendar yesterday, I was generally surprised about how many events there are between now and the, uh, between now and the, uh, Roughly, I mean, to be honest, we, I was going to say between now and Remembrance Day, that's a bit far, but realistically between now and the end of the summer and then of course we've got the autumn events as well. So we'll be seeing lots of, uh, hopefully, lots of soldiers, lots of sailors and lots of airmen as well, it's just like last year. Airmen being uh, the rarest variety of, uh, of serving military. Cut across, here comes the lady trooper. me into the light. Damn it, I hate it when I need to do that. You can hopefully see folks uh, from the helmets alone how remarkably bright it is today. Lady Gatesman, Lady Trooper, quite a rarity to be honest. Massive crowd as well, look. It's any amount of time before we uh, we have the Blues and Royals standing out at the front and in the tunnel, guaranteed. Did someone uh, told you about the guy who came here uh, two days ago? Which was to, uh, on Thursday. No, I wasn't here on Thursday. Basically asking about uh, <laughs> someone going to cut the video on the artist that was shouting with the guard. Okay. Do you have the guard? Do you have the uh, police or Shouting with the guard? I mean, not that I remember. <laughs> Real weird. I don't know, I mean, it, it, it is, it's possible. Hey, hey, all good, it's you for a while. All good, yeah? Yeah, it's all good. Almost three times, four times since I still looked Ah, he was probably, in fact, coming along to find out who it was that had posted those videos. And if they want to come and talk to me, I mean, I'm here. It won't take them long to find me. He said, yeah, if you show the video, maybe we know that who's going to post it. We are not going to talk about this because we need to, uh, you know, like, uh, protect everyone here, you know. But we don't know who's that guy, that's why we're not 
It's amazing how fussy some people are. I mean, you know what? I'm, anything I see is going to get posted. I couldn't care less which group is in it. It makes a difference. Yeah, because we know that, typically speaking, if there's going to be a problem, no, I mean, the, the police are looking for it. The police is look like, I mean, the, the, the action is like a, Yeah. Yeah, I know. Let's not worry about it. I think we've got a lot to worry about today. That and the pickpockets. Let's see. But if you see them, let me know. You have know, a woman. Okay, I'm trying to get folks in front of the horse. Not easy today because it is very busy and people are just sort of just chilling actually in the sun to be honest. Look, massive numbers of people. But yeah, the problem, as you've heard, having a discussion with various people is that uh, yesterday the police did pick up a pickpocket here who was, uh, who was questioned, searched, name and details taken. But the trouble is these people couldn't care less. They'll come back until they're actually caught in the act and then convicted. I knew if that happens, uh, it's very, very unlikely it would ever be anything more than a slap on the wrist or a small fine. So in other words, they'll pay the fine off in one day, be back the next day doing it all over again. Unless, of course, we can get them really clearly on film. If I can do that, people, I will. Okay, I will go over and I will interview a pickpocket and I will say, excuse me, Mr. Miss Pickpocket, uh, what do you think you're doing here? That will be the aim of today. And we might end up with two parts even, folks. Let's see how we go. Oh, somebody's saying I'm so angry next to me. Angry about what? Absolutely loving it, the kids are loving it. In fact, the fact that the horse is so playful and happy. <laughs> ah, goodness me. Are you scared of the horse? Are you scared of it? Are you scared? <laughs> right, no, he won't say anything. As, as long as you don't touch him or the boots, you're okay to go near the horse. It's okay, it's allowed. No, you don't need to be scared. I mean, I would be more scared that the horse would run. <laughs> but I have experience with horse, and I don't have experience with horse. Yeah? Yes. Yeah, but have you seen a horse this big before? <laughs> no. <laughs> No, don't don't be scared. He won't uh, he won't use his sword. I promise. He's not going to behead you. <laughs> I can understand she's very petite. So the horse, if the horse looks big to me. Uh, the, the lady I was talking to is about half. Oops. It's about. Not, well, not quite half. She's about maybe two thirds my height. Very, very petite lady. I think she's Filipino. Uh, so to her, the horse must look absolutely massive. Hmm? I have no idea what was going on. The Filipino girls. Is she Filipino? No, no, no. no? where do you think she's from? From Vietnamese. Ah. I think she was scared because to her, obviously she's very petite, the horse looks massive. The other maze. Ah. Okay, police are keeping a good eye out. The horse had a bit of a bit of a something. Scratchy scratch. I haven't actually seen a horse doing that before. Hi John. Oh, <laughs> how are you doing? How are you? I'm good, yourself? Yeah? You too, beautiful day in fact. Came to be in uniform up here with, uh, yeah. with pictures and so on. Yeah, uh, it's, it's way too hot, but next month, um, I'm not sure when, I seem to remember, somebody said April 15th, but I can't, yeah. don't quote me on that, I think middle of next month. Which horse is 
Okay, so the one in front of us is um, actually wait, that's a good question. I think I called it a shearer. Yeah, shearer. It's the other one, the other one, I forgot already. So it's a mare. I can't remember which one. Um, I did mention it earlier in the video, but this one's definitely shearer. And about 20, 30 minutes ago, they had brand new recruits in there. Oh yeah. All lined up. It's a sh yeah. If only if you'd been here 30 minutes ago, you could have stood right in front of all these new age camp recruits. The main thing is the weather though, come on, if it's bright like this, you're going to get amazing pictures. You're going to go up close to the horse, or are you a little bit? <laughs> He's scared. He likes to stand up behind. He doesn't mind if you sure? Blues and Royals. Uh, Blues and Royals Junior Trooper, everybody. Look, the youngest member of the Blues and Royals. Magnificent. <laughs> Yep, we met before. Um, fine, upstanding young man. And we've got Frank, who's going to join uh, the household division, and we've got young man here who's going to be uh, going to be joining H Cup as the Blues and Royals, all doing well uh, in the not too distant future. He's still as enthusiastic. He's still as enthusiastic as, as last time you were here. Yeah? yeah, yeah. Can't wait. Brilliant. Good thing to see. Ah, what did you think when you saw the stables? Were you impressed? You're thinking, this is my future workplace no matter what, yeah? Yeah, yeah it's pretty special in there for sure. Ooh. I mean, to be honest, um, I struggled a little bit because there was so much, even though it wasn't all shown, there was so much going up, down, up, down stairs in the barracks. Um, I felt really sorry for the Press Association girl. She had a massive tripod, huge video camera, and no one she had to carry it all herself. She was exhausted by it. It was yeah. It was a lot of fun, but my goodness me, I, the troopers I don't even think need to go to the gym because just walking around that barracks, <sighs> there's so much up and down the stairs, it is an absolute labyrinth. But you loved it. I mean it was it was brilliant, it was a brilliant day. Really enjoyed it. And surprisingly, because I was kind of switching the camera on and off at different points, it actually turned out pretty well, the video. I was thinking it would be a disaster, but pure luck I guess. Well it's really nice that you got to go and film. I was surprised it wasn't it wasn't pre-arranged. I literally got the nod the, the day before, so I was yeah. very surprised. And yeah. thank goodness I was able to say, of course, you know, I'd love to be there. Yeah, I think you just end up dropping everything for that. Didn't you? Yep. <laughs> yeah, yeah, very much so. I couldn't think of anything else I'd rather see. To be honest, I mean, yeah. the stables here, the area here, is is interesting. Yeah. And obviously, people are curious if they haven't seen it. But yeah, high seeing you know, two hundred odd uh, horses across two different lots of stairs, just wow. Yeah, for me as a non-horse person. So what are you guys? Are you guys spending the whole day up in, in London today? Yeah. What yeah, else are you going to say? Bristol, so I would never, I would never have guessed that it was an Ava. <laughs> Summers, it's, it's, it's not, it's not like really heavy Somerset and Ava, but <laughs> it's a swing. <laughs> yeah. What else do you want to see today? Are you just going to spend the day here? It's it not even interesting Big Ben. Oh wow. I mean, that, to be honest, that makes an easier day for you, doesn't it? Because if it's this, if it's like this here with this many people, and look at everyone, it is absolutely jam-packed. Then what would it be like down that end? Around Westminster Tube and Big Ben. Yeah, today's going to be a pretty interesting one, certainly in the yard later. When I mean, just look at this already. Crazy. Okay, well, apparently, uh, somebody did mention to me earlier, there is something, it's not a, um, a pro-Gaza march, I can't remember what it is, but there is there is scheduled to be something, but I don't think it will happen before one o'clock. Uh, I should be well done by uh, by that time, and then tomorrow is St. Patrick's Day. So yeah, busy weekend as usual, but look at all these people, where are they all coming from? Goodness me. Nice to see you. You too, guys. Uh, have a good day, little man, yeah? <laughs> Thank you. Wow, it is busy. Better like this end, folks. Look at this. Super light here. You notice how many people wearing sunglasses? Bubble hat's gone. Sunglasses in. I've also noticed, uh, probably a little bit too late, 
that there are some massive groups around the around the arches. I'm not sure if that's good or bad, but I think they're being well behaved overall. However, as we've seen before, it only takes one, doesn't it? One naughty student uh, to lead the, the innocent followers and boom. There's actually quite a lot of new people here filming these days. A lot of people I've never ever seen before. Uh, and you can tell, typically speaking, when, uh, when somebody's new because they'll just walk around holding their phone and they won't realise until they get home and review what they filmed that it's all jerky because you can't walk around, because obviously naturally you know, the body's bobbing up and down so you can't walk around filming fluidly like this unless you've got a gimbal. Uh, I learned that the hard way, guys, on my first ever walking video. Two hours walking only to get home and realised uh, I looked like I was... Uh, what should I say? Look, the, fi the footage looked like I just came out of rehab, okay? I was, it was like this, uh, all over the place. Super jerky footage. So I didn't make that mistake again. Oh, they're curious. I can understand why they're curious, because... Actually, hold on a second. The two troopers are mounted up already. I'm genuinely surprised. It's actually 10.43. In other words, we've got a hell of a long time uh, until they come out. Rare that they're mounted up so, so, so much before. I wonder why. Oh, hold on a second, folks. Penny just dropped. Me being silly as usual. Why are they getting all ready this early? Morning inspection. I forgot it's Saturday. So the morning inspection will be taking place at 11. But before that, here they come. Trooper opening up, dropping the chain. Let's see if we can spot Armand guys heading out. Get back behind the second white line over there, please. All right, look at that. He's well on it. Trooper's well on it. I know the best spot, folks. Get ready for it. Actually, hold on, hold on, hold on. They're going to change the two boxmen early, aren't they? Police are really shouting at everybody today. Like, really shouting at everybody. Yeah, they're going to change the two boxmen early. Sorry, they do that on Saturdays, don't they? They change the two boxmen early, then the release go back in, and then the uh, the whole troop go out to back for the inspection. So this is not the morning inspection yet. It's the relief of the boxman at 10:45. Forgot they do it early on Saturdays. This is good because we get to see two new horses pretty much immediately. We've only been here for 40 minutes, and boom, two new beauties out. And I believe, actually no it's not, I was just thinking the magnificent trumpeter who played the salute the other day is on the horse on the right, but it's not, it's another trooper. Very similar looking trooper. Crowd are way back, they listened, look. thinking unusually but yeah they listened unlike, unlike the first guard this morning I think having seen the chain being taken down as well that they're going to relieve the gatesman and chitsman instinctively I think they will If I said it was a von, of course, at the back. Oh. 
Oh, she just had to shove through. Ouch. <laughs> How vexed are those tourists? Brilliant. Oh, funny, no? Okay, folks, we're back. <laughs> we're back. That was a little bit awkward. Like good awkward. <laughs> Depending on uh, who they're going to put as the new gatesman, this could be interesting. Let's hope the tourists learn the lesson. The two people that just pushed out of the way are in the same spot behind me. <laughs> they haven't moved. <laughs> so long since we've seen that happen actually with the gates from behind me uh, I'll probably post that as a separate second uh, separate video kind of taken out of this video that moment was too good to miss okay here comes the relief I don't understand though how they didn't hear her. I mean, she was basically screaming in their ear, and they just did the like, duh. She had no option other than to push them out of the way, realistically. Centuries past. By the front, quick march! What a voice. Okay, so the gatesman, uh, who has just taken his spot. Will not mess about, folks, at all. Wait for it. Remember, ordinarily, guys, uh, the uh, the side of the tunnel on my right is normally vacant of any trooper uh, of any tourists. But this morning, I think, because it's so busy, they've made a one-time exception. There goes the trooper. And this time, they've learnt their lesson, look. <laughs> they got out of the way pretty quick. And that's good. Why? Because he would have absolutely smashed right through them. We've seen it before. Good heavens. In some respects... I mean, it's a pity that he wasn't the gatesman before, because if he'd had to get out, people would have been on the floor. And I'm not exaggerating, guys. A lot of you know that gatesman well, and he absolutely is the top man. He doesn't mess about at all. If doing his way, he moves them out the way. Here is me. <laughs> oh, so sorry, a friend of mine just walked past. Blues and Royals Junior, guys. <laughs> I mean, I'm trying not to I try not to freak him out. Yeah, he's very camera shy, guys. Uh, I know his parents and the, they said it's okay for him to be in the video. He's not very that camera shy. He does drumming, busking in Bristol. His military drumming. And he's got his own channel now. I think it's because when he's with the guard, he's a little bit camera shy. Are you a bit camera shy when you're with the guard sometimes? No, <laughs> guard guard mode. Hey, Taurus have won the picture as well with uh, the Blues and Royals' newest recruit. You can understand why. Fine looking chap. See you later, guys. Okay, Taurus groups already forming. The front is just. Whoo. I mean, if I'm honest, part of the reason why I thought I'd be in the yard for that guard change is that the front was pretty chocker, uh, and it still is. God knows how we're going to get anywhere near the horses to be able to get the names. Oh my God, it's going to be... Uh, yeah, 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 don't wait. I'll talk to you after, I promise. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh. oh, I think, I think, I think, I think that uh, the trooper just told the tourist the name of the horse. 
Now, I know the word that I just heard in my head, uh, and we know that I haven't seen the number yet, folks, or the horse from, from head on, but I'm pretty sure that the trooper just told the, the tourists that this is Passchendaele. Let's go and have a look. I'm going to be generally surprised because that will be the first time ever that I've heard the trooper telling somebody, a random tourist, the name of his or her horse. Either she got super lucky or a new policy just come in overnight. Let me see if I can get the uh, horse's hoof number. <laughs> These are the dumb folks when it's this busy. Wow, look at it. Can't even get near. Right, there we are. Let's see if I get the number. Now, curiously, I've just taken a snap, but I can't see anything on the hoof. He definitely, without a shadow of a doubt... Oh, hold on one second. Oh, there is... Wait, I understand why. We've had this before. Let's just check it on the list. Yeah. It is, it's Passchendaele, the number matches. Wow, seriously? Okay, that's interesting. So, somebody just went over and said to him, what's the name of your horse? And he told them. Yeah, I, I, like I came out, I heard it, and I checked it on the list. I was actually surprised he actually told them the name of the horse. That never happened before, no? Just some random toy said, oh, what's the name of your horse? It's like, that's Passchendaele. I thought maybe he was like playing a joke, but it, it, it's actually that. This, this guy is... Oh, this one's a bike one. Hold on a second. Which horse is this? This one's a bike one. <laughs> oh, hold on, everybody. Wait just a moment. What have we got here? Guys, do you recognize the horse in front of us? Oh, my. <laughs> oh, oh. See. Before I say it, let me just confirm it. Hmm? I'm just looking at the number, in fact, and I can just about make it out. I'm just checking. This is what I'm thinking from the face, but then I'm wait, one second. Don't say the number though. No, don't say it, don't say it, don't say it. I'm pretty sure, but don't say it out loud that it is, yeah? And, wait. Bro. No, luckily you misread it, it's not. Don't say the number. Look. It matches. It is, it's all more. Yeah. So I stay here. <laughs> then you know, then you know. <laughs> Uh, to be honest, um, straight away I saw the three white socks and that blaze, I thought it's got to be. Because, uh, the way he's moved is the same, that's why I'm just saying. Yep. So, okay. Speed. But even after two months away, look, <laughs> two, two months away, yeah. just the same as before he left. Look, <laughs> really doesn't like the toys at all. Oh. Wow. Okay, the uh, the troopers are coming out, guys. Uh, let's pop through and capture this. They're just about to ride out now for the morning uh, inspection. Look at that! How quick did I got into position? <laughs> Here they are. The thing is, I don't want to get locked in here, so I'm going to be very quick getting back out in a second. Okay, so just closing it up now, which is my cue to run back out <laughs> before I get locked in. Okay, perfect timing. Let's close one gate. But yes, guys, uh, Ormond is back in town. How's about that? Big surprise. 
not this end, the other end. And that's why, for the rest of this video, folks, I'm going to be focusing on our favourite horse. God, everyone's here this morning. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I saw the sun, so I thought, okay. To be honest, um, it's annoying. An hour ago, it was super bright and really hot, wasn't it? We were just yeah. standing over there sweating. Now it's gone again. Yeah, especially bought this hat today. That's, that's, a, that's a very... Wait, did you buy it? Or did, wait, I saw that hat for sale on the stand down there. No, I bought it from... Uh, no, you stole it. Come on, be honest. What's, the, what's that store? TK, TK, TK. TK Maxx. TK Maxx. TK Maxx. It doesn't come on my way. <laughs> I thought you were about to say TK, TK, TK Vuitton. <laughs> Oh, hold on a second. Some of the tourists just got stuck. They got separated from their family, and the police have decided to let the rest of the family in. Very thoughtful. Look. <laughs> and someone else is getting let out. <laughs> like, oops. Wow, that's a big family. Okay, that is it. Now we're not going to let anyone else in. Right, that is done. Job done. And Ormond. Uh-oh. Get ready for it. Watch. <laughs> oh, hold on. Jogger's got trapped now. Look. <laughs> okay, that's definitely it. No one else is coming in or out at this point. That unique and spectacular horse. Finally, guys. How long has it been? I think... I need to check, but I think this is the first time we've seen Ormond here this year. Is that no? What do you mean? And before you mention it, yes, two weeks ago, in fact, almost two weeks ago to the day, it was the Friday before last, we saw Ormond over at Hyde Park Barracks during the Elizabeth Cup prep. Folks, did you miss that face or not? I missed it. He's already glanced at the camera. He's like, of course you missed me. Come on, everyone missed me. I'm famous. I'm realistically, actually, other than Arnie, uh, the late Arnie, that is. I'm not saying that Arnie's past, I mean the original Arnie. But this is currently the most famous horse in Hitchcock. By a long mile. is a bit mushy. This why I was a bit hesitant initially to say it was all mond. But I think that pretty much tells us all we need to know. Am I right? <laughs> she can't vote for <laughs> She said this one's lively. You've got no idea who we are. Beyond lively. It really does not like toys at all. This, this, this horse is the most famous one for biting tourists. And this is the first time this horse has been here since last year. It was away really? for a long time. Yeah. Because of that reason? Primarily because of that. So they put the horse out up in Leicestershire for a while. Uh, hopefully it will calm down, but obviously it's still as bad. This horse pushed people on the floor last year. Really? Yeah. 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 Every kind of bad video you've seen of people being bitten or thrown, it was, it was this horse. There you go, you got yeah. the <laughs> <laughs> Oh goodness me. <laughs> Everyone that isn't here today is gonna to be like, damn it, why didn't I go to horse cars today? I bet they won't put the horse out tomorrow now. If somebody gets bitten badly today, guys, they will not bring all one back tomorrow. So let's hope he's a good boy. <laughs> he's not in a good mood. <laughs> Yeah, it's funny because normally if somebody gets bitten badly, then they'll take that horse off for the shift. Yeah. So if, if something goes wrong today, we will not see him tomorrow. So let's hope it doesn't go wrong today. Good to see him back. Have a good day, guys. Yeah. See. You. Wow, they were delighted to get uh, to get nipped by the most famous horse, and he got a brilliant video of uh, of his wife getting, getting nipped, as you just saw. That viper like face, look. Shots. 
I mean, the biggest problem we've got now, everybody, is that because Ormond came out early, okay, in other words, before the uh, inspection, that means that he's going to be here, unless something goes very wrong, let's pray it doesn't, he's going to be here for the next 55 minutes. Now, you know what that means, don't you, everybody? It means there has to be a mandatory part two, and part two is going to be called Bond Return, or something along those lines. Um, I'm going to finish part one, and part two will resume when I see the captain coming out to inspect or mond in a few minutes. Uh, so plenty of drama in this video, folks, uh, this morning. It's only going to get better. Back shortly for part two. Bye for now.